G'day, welcome back to Art with Alison. Now, today I'm going to be doing lots of pretty colours basically, with some reds and yellows, greens, blues, a bit of copper. Now, I thought rather than just have some white with some satin enamel, why not have one of the colours with it in it. Not that I want a huge cloud pour, but I just want a little bit of fluffiness. Might be nice. See how it's separated on the top? It's all just, well, gooey stuff. Who knows what that is, but I'm sure it's an important ingredient in there. So I'll just give this a stir. has almost a, what would you call it, like a coral colour. Oh, here we are. Warm white. <laughs> a warm white. All right, so I'm just going to add, there's only a little bit of paint. My puppy's chewing up some paper stuff, cardboardy stuff that I've given her. Oh, look at it's doing the. I don't know if you can see that, but it's around the edges. It's gone all kind of. Um, yeah. Pillowy. Might use a different thing for stirring as I might decide to put some in something else. We'll see what it does to the colour. Just poured it up slightly. A little bit lighter. I might put a bit more in actually. Yeah, let me get a better spoonful of it. I always put my blue in if I think I've overdone it. Probably have overdone it because there's not much in there. It's probably only about 20 or 30 mil, if that, of paint. All right, let's we'll give that a go. <laughs> See what that does. I wonder if I did that to all the colours. That's a thought, isn't it? Let me get some little containers. Yeah. Why not do an experiment? enamel in the red do I? No, I don't really want a pink. That's for sure. Let's 
going to have one bright color. So we're not having that in the red or the black. Okay. So we'll put this away now. Okay, I'm ready to start putting the colors into my cup. I've found some white which already had satin enamel in it and I just put a bit more of the pure white satin enamel in that to kind of match the others because the others do have rather a lot I think of the cloud pour in them compared to usually. All right I'm going to go from white to the green to the yellow. Oh, I also found some orange. A nice bright orange. No, that doesn't have the satin enamel in it. And neither does this red. <clears throat> and neither does the black. So we shall see what difference that makes. Not so keen on this colour, but done it now. Might make brown. Well, they might stay nice and distinct. It's probably where I should have put the white next time round. It's not a very big canvas. Um, gee, how big is this one? I've taken the label off it already. Um, I think it's maybe 30 by 40 centimetres. I'll double check that and put it on the description below. Oh, orange is running out. Red. Black. Yucky colour. <clears throat> right, this time I'll put the white there. And then the blue. And then I think we've probably got enough. What am I going to do with this paint? It's left over. Might use up all the blue. Not much of that left. All right, I'll just get ready now. Just give it a little spray on the back. Tighten the canvas. These colours look rather lovely. Dripping there. Okay, I know this looks like a yucky colour, but I don't think it's going to do anything. It's just to go around it for it to flow more easily. It's quite runny. The same as the paints. This is just like when I finish doing a pour, I'll scoop up what's what's left, what's gone onto the mat and if it's 
yucky colour like this, then I can just use it for this. Or sometimes they turn into a nice colour. And then I can use it in another painting. I'm all for not wasting. These paints are actually quite expensive. Plus it's good not to waste. If you can help it. Well, it seems to be green with a few other colours. Can't see that the cloud effect is particularly happening. Alright, we'll try and slide this down. See how it's not rolling over on that yellow? It's keeping it there. The whole lot is just moving. Bring it back to the middle. This helps just to stretch out the composition. Well, keeping the composition somewhat. Back to the middle. I like that red stripe. Strange, like I did about three layers, didn't I, I think? Yeah, you can't see it. All the blues at one end. bit of that coral pink. Which I'm quite happy with that. Mind you, it looks quite nice next to the black. Right, let it go off this corner. Bring it back. that corner. I'm surprised we're not getting much cloud effect with all that satin enamel in there. Push pins to hold on to. Try and do that and I'll try and no, I don't think I've got any hope of saving that, have I? Bring it back. I head towards that corner. Maybe if I go down and around, I might manage to keep a little bit of that yellow. Maybe. Phone cuts out, doesn't it? Oh. I don't know. Not very happy with this. This here actually is looking quite pretty. And I like that. And I like that. It's about all I can say. Maybe a few bits of this is nice. Maybe I'll <clears throat> get rid of some of that. There's so much green. I don't think I put any more green in than anything else. It's, ah. And where's my cloud effect? Goodness, with all that satin enamel, it should be should be fluffy all over the place. I wonder if the fact that it was quite runny has anything to do with not producing the, the clouds. 
See if I can bring down this green and try not to lose too much of this red. So far it's hanging in there. I know it looks like I'm just bringing the green back, but just trying to save this red down here. I don't like it. Don't like it. Got a snoring dog behind me, as you probably know probably not long been fed and they've all had a play and now they're sleeping right no don't like that at all <sighs> maybe I should give it a torch See if that makes any difference. Well, all that's done is burst some air bubbles. I mean, I know there's no silicon in it, but often you will get, <coughs> excuse me, you will get um, cells coming through. I think it's just because it's so thin. The uh, paints were just too thin for a, for a ring pour. I usually have them a lot thicker than that. All right, maybe we can just use that as our base coat and start again. All right, before I do anything else, I'm just going to tip this, get most of the paint off and also see whether opening this up improves it at all. Well, I don't think it's improving the painting at all. I may as well just try and get this off as well. Then I'm going to scrape up what's on the table, put it in a container. I won't do a thorough clean, but just enough to get this type of paint into one container. Okay, so the phone needed recharging, so I did my cup while it was recharging because everything's drying up and we don't want that. So I added in some purple. Uh, this is Araldo purple. I'll have to look that one up. And this is cool red. And I added that to what was left of the other one. And I added orange to that corally color. And it came out a nice orange, so that was good. And I added more yellow to this one. And, yep, that's all good. And I added in the bright aqua green from Liquitex Basics. I thought I could do that one. And this is deep green. I added to the green that was already there. 
and this is some white not sure what that white was doesn't matter and this is cool blue no it wasn't this was the metallic bright blue I think it was called I'll have to go and have a look and oh anyway it's been in the descriptions and but then it wasn't quite dark enough so then I did add a little bit of cool blue to it which darkened it a bit and this is the what I collected from the scooped up bit but I added some purple and I also added in some of that metallic blue and it's just made a metallic grey so I had that as one of the colours <coughs> and I did a new cup so I'll just put all this away and bring you in okay so of course that can be my base coat <laughs> and let's cross fingers and hope this works. I'm not worrying about the tin this time to rest my arm on because of my sore shoulder and neck because it's only a small cup. I can just see a little something there. I've just been an air bubble. There's lots of dogs around me snoring their heads off, so sorry if that annoys you. But I live with a house full of dogs. Alright. Ah, this is always a bit scary. This might be too thick. That's almost too thin. Maybe I'll do a ring pull here now because it's just going wiggledy wiggledy. Stuck my finger in it. Oh well. I don't think it matters too much. Um. not be my day today. So I 
just made most of these up. Okay. If you ever was first doing the, especially the straight pour, it tends to incorporate a lot of bubbles all by itself. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Uh, even if I leave a bit of the original behind, wouldn't matter, would it? It's quite pretty that bit. We shall see. Don't really, really like that bit though. No, I won't let it go off just yet. There's rather a lot of paint for this little canvas. Let that go off that corner. Um, just get the red to go over. Try not to lose it. Oh, actually, that bit near the middle is looking quite pretty with that green there with the purple. Stretch that out. Get that off that end. Back to the middle. Kind of trying to get all the pour off to go into one. To the spot. Mm. It's quite interesting. Let's have a look. Not too keen on that. It's kind of a bit muddy. Pity we're going to lose what looks like the only bit of yellow. Happy to pour that off, I think. Yeah, I did a few layers, but somehow lost the yellow. Stop there. down to that corner because I quite like to stretch out the top bit of that the middle white bit I don't mind if I lose that red in the corner there's enough red everywhere else it's moving a lot more slowly now so obviously I've already taken off a lot of the paint I might just stop it there and give it a Another torch. My hands are very mucky. I better wipe them first.
pausing with all that satin enamel because there would have still been a fair bit in them. And there's not much cloud effect, a little bit happening in the middle bit. So I'm stretching that out. This corner bit here is looking a bit out of place now, so I might just put it up there. Stretch out these lines at the top here. Top where I am anyway. Just slowly. <laughs> There's a very loud dog snoring behind me. looking really quite pretty I think. Those colours and the stripes are really quite lovely. Just bring it back to centre a little bit. Don't want the weight of the paint all down one end when you finish. Because you want the paint to be fairly evenly spread so it lessens your chance of cracking. Yes, I'm happy with that one. Yay. That's quite unusual. I like it when they're a bit unusual. I like that the metal bit now. I just wipe my hands so I can point. I love these bits in here. That's really quite interesting. And there's a little bit of cloud effect <laughs> kind of happening in here and around there. But nowhere else really. But these these lines, I love them. They're really pretty. And that, that bright aqua green coming through there is really lovely. I'm glad I added that in. Because I thought, yeah, two colours of green might be nicer than just the one. And yeah. And look, there's even a little bit of yellow over here, so that's nice. <laughs> okay, well, I'll just give it another torch and I'll bring it in for a close-up. And here it is. I think it's looking really quite nice. I, I like the, the little cloud effect in the middle there. That's quite quite pretty in the way it sort of billows out into the other colours. It's quite nice rather than just being the white. So it did succeed in that with those.
decided to get away from there's a puppy and they were playing so noisily a minute ago as you may have heard and that's Kiki on the other bed oh here we are that's right oh, no. anyway, hopefully that's in focus and we'll leave it that all right Thanks heaps for watching, do appreciate it and I especially appreciate it when you subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything but it does help me. And if you have enjoyed watching this video, I know it was a bit long and tedious in the beginning when I looked it up, well when I wasn't happy with it, but it's all part of the process, you know, and it's there that, that you see the things that don't work as well as the ones that do we're all just human okay so yeah if you have enjoyed this please do thumbs up okay catch you later bye